Welcome back to Chill Plays. This is the Fine Fine Ampligame H6 gaming headset. In all disclosure, Ted from Fine Fine reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a review of this headset. They sent it out to me and I've been using it over the weekend and I can tell you I'm in love with this headset. There is one little thing that I'm not too crazy about. We'll get to that if you want to stick around to the end of the video. There are links in the description. Uh, they take it to Amazon. They do help the channel out. So it is an affiliate link. So if you're interested in picking this up, a budget headset under $40, that sounds just as good as my very expensive Astro headset. So let's unbox this thing and we'll get to the review. So this is the box you get with the Ampligame H6 gaming headset. I really enjoy the color wave on this. Uh, you can see on the back there, everything you get in the box. So let's get this thing open and see what's inside. Uh, first thing you notice, of course, is a pamphlet. Uh, this does have a lot of instructions of how to set up your computer going through the thing, but we don't really need that. And then, of course, the headset itself. It's a pretty simple box. You got this little cardboard thing here that keeps all your cables wrapped in nice and neat. And then the headset itself. And then in the bottom of the box, you have your uh, micro detachable microphone with the three and a half millimeter jack on it. This is a great looking headset. Uh, even though it is plastic and some metal, it is not cheap filling at all. Uh, the, everything is super soft, the ear cups, it just feels like a great quality headset. And then of course your USB-A cable. That is a very long cable, so it can reach halfway across the room. And then here's the sound box. You can see the 7.1 surround sound, the volume buttons. There's the mode switch. And on the other side of that is the mic mute button. As far as comfort, uh, these ear cups are extremely soft. As with a bald head, that's something I really need to pay attention to. Also, this top thing here, uh, the padding on this is super thick. And again, uh, without any hair up here, uh, comfort is a huge thing for me. Wearing headset uh, day in and day out constantly for almost eight hours on end. So this is a very lightweight yet sturdy headset. Uh, the ear cups, again, are metal and the adjustment is in the ear cup itself. So as far as uh, comfort goes, uh, this is fantastic. Uh, you can also see on the ear cups here, the uh, RGB. It's It looks really great. Uh, as far as a gaming headset is concerned. It's not overpowering, it's not super bright. Uh, one thing about these ear cups is they are not open back. So if you like open back uh, ear cups, uh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> so it does feel pretty closed in on your head. Uh, but for me, I don't like to hear any outside distractions. I like to be able to hear the footsteps. I like to hear the gunshots, knowing where everybody is at any time. Now I know headset reviews are a little weird because the only thing you can really test or hear on your end is the actual microphone. Uh, you cannot hear the audio coming from this, but I promise you this surround sound in this headset is amazing. You can hear people above you, below you, behind you. There's footsteps everywhere. Uh, there is not a lot of high end on this headset, but if you're playing a lot of first person shooters, that high end kind of gets lost anyway. So the mids are really boosted on this thing and the bass is amazing. As soon as you fire that gun, it you can almost feel it in your chest how much bass is in this thing. It is crazy. So there is an audio box that comes with this thing. Uh, it is hardwired in. I believe there's another version called the H9 that has a detachable cable on this, but this thing doesn't really get in the way. It's not, it's not heavy. It's not gonna pull the headset down off your head. Uh, there is a volume up and a volume down button to change the volume. So you don't have to change the volume anywhere else, just straight on the headset. Uh, this button in the middle, is the 7.1 surround sound. So if it's red, you're getting the 7.1 surround. And if it's off, the 7.1 surround sound is turned off. There are three EQ settings on the side of this device. There's a small button here. Uh, there is music, gaming, and movies. Uh, I believe most people are gonna buy this for the gaming setting, but you just push that button and the setting changes. On the back, you can see there's uh, little icons that tell you uh, which mode that you're in. Uh, there is also a inline mic mute button. So you don't have to be reaching down the cable uh, trying to find your, your microphone or you know alt tab out of your game. It's right here. It's pretty close on the headset. So if you just want to mute that, you just turn that on. And then you turn it back on and your mic is unmuted. Uh, also, when, they're, when you're muting the mic, there is a mic indicator. Uh, which is a little weird to me. Uh, I feel like the mic indicator should be 
on the front facing side of the microphone so you can see it. Uh, so if you mute it, it turns red. And if you unmute it, it goes off, but you can't really see it while you're wearing the headset. So it, it would have been nice to have maybe on the top of the microphone, maybe an indicator letting you know. There is a detachable microphone, which is really great. So if you don't want to carry this mic around, uh, it's just a little three and a half millimeter uh, jack on the headset. All you do is pop that microphone off and it's good to go. And I know you guys want to hear a mic test. So the great thing is this whole video has been done using the microphone on the H6. Uh, you can hear this clear sound coming through. Uh, so this would be great, not only just for gaming and for game chat, party chat, discord, but also even recording videos or voiceovers like I've done this entire video. But straight out of the box, I believe this microphone is worth, worth the $40 just on its own. And now to the one thing that I don't really care for about on this headset. It is only USB. There is no detachable cable. Even though most consoles now, the PS5 and the Xbox, all use USB for headsets. Uh, sometimes I don't, if you're not sitting close to your PS5 or your Xbox, you don't have the length. Uh, even though this is a good length cable, uh, if you're not close to it, you can't always plug it directly into your Xbox. And now since all the controllers have, you know, your three and a half millimeter input for your headphone and your microphone, it would have been nice to be able to, uh, you know, just unplug this thing. Uh, but that's the one thing on this headset that I wish we had. So that is a very quick and dirty review of the AmpliGame H6 gaming headset from Fine Fine. Again, thank you to Ted for reaching out to me again, uh, wanting me to review their products. Uh, after the two products I've reviewed, I am becoming a huge fan of uh, Fine Fine. Their products are very fairly priced and the quality of these products so far have just blown my mind. Again, there are links down in the description. They take you to Amazon. Again, affiliate links, they help me out. They help the channel out so I can keep doing these reviews for you guys. Thank you for sticking around. Make sure you check out uh, my other YouTube videos. Uh, we stream on Twitch and Kick and YouTube. So wherever you want to watch us, uh, go subscribe to those channels. Uh, links are down in the description. Thank you again. Love you all. Peace.